Hi there, it's Joe from the Mayfair Clinic and today we're going to talk about stem cells and stem cell therapy. So first of all, what are stem cells? Stem cells are known as the raw materials because they have the ability to differentiate or multiply into loads of different cells with different and specialised functions. So at the moment there are two different types of cells that the uh, stem cells that the researchers use uh, at this current time. The first is embryonic stem cells uh, made from, from embryos at about five days old and also adult stem cells uh, usually in the bone marrow. Uh, both are pluripotent, meaning that they can multiply into different types of cell. Uh, originally, researchers thought that adult stem cells didn't have the ability to do this, uh, but recently they found out that it does, um, and they can, both can multiply into bone cells or heart cells or uh, muscle cells, pretty much any type of cell that you can think of. So, research and clinical trials are ongoing into how stem cells might be able to treat loads of different types of diseases like diabetes, uh, neurological conditions like strokes and Parkinson's, um, and blood related diseases like leukemia. Uh, so what they do is they inject the stem cells into the area in the hope that they uh, might help to repair and regenerate the damaged cells in that area. So obviously there's a lot of buzz around stem cell treatment but it doesn't come with that as problems because stem cells have the potential to multiply uncontrollably and even potentially cause tumours. Um, and this is usually due to sort of poor lab settings when these stem cells are injected into the patient. Um, sometimes they can just cause negative results without causing any damage to the patient as well. So one other perhaps negative spin on uh, embryonic stem cells is their ethical issues. So the embryonic stem cells are made from embryos uh, that are made from the fertilised egg um, and once the stem cells are used then the embryos are obviously not needed anymore. Um, so some people view that as sort of taking away life. Um, but there are regulations put in place now and also the stem cells or the embryos are sort of donated with informed consent too. So I talked a lot about the clinical trials and the research into stem cell therapy. You might have seen in the media or online uh, that a lot of people are offering stem cell treatment um, but they do offer it at very high prices into the thousands or even tens of thousands of pounds. Um, just err on the side of caution with these companies because they do um, or their processes are often unproven or under-tested or even untested. Uh, so that, that's when people can get the negative results from stem cell treatment or even just no results at all. Uh, so before you go and venture into these kind of companies, make sure you do your research first. So thanks for watching guys. Check out the full article on the website.